So my first question is, can you explain the different types of sunscreens that are offered in the market today? Certainly. So when people look at different types of sunscreens, typically they're looking at the difference between a chemical sunscreen and a mineral sunscreen. So first I'll talk about mineral sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens are contain the active ingredients titanium dioxide and or zinc oxide, and those are crushed minerals. So when you look at a mineral sunscreen, the way it works, it actually forms a shield on your skin and it's going to reflect the sun's rays and that's how it protects you from the dangerous UV rays. A chemical sunscreen is made up of a chemical ingredient. You typically might see those listed on sunscreens as avabenzone, oxabenzone, octanoxate, anything other than titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. And the way those work and protect your skin is they actually are absorbed into your skin and then when the sun hits your skin it's going to cause a chemical reaction and will dissipate in the form of heat which is how your skin is protected. So really two um, mineral sunscreens are naturally occurring versus chemically synthesized and the way that they work on your skin is going to be a little bit different. Okay, and what is the difference between liquid mineral sunscreen and mineral powder sunscreen? Okay, so a mineral powder sunscreen and a liquid mineral sunscreen are both going to contain the same active in ingredients, either zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, or both. The difference is a mineral powder is going to be the crushed mineral, so it's going to sit on your skin like a mattifying powder, very similar to a face powder that you might use as a cosmetic, and a liquid mineral sunscreen um, that is, tends to be a little more white, a little thicker, uh, really great protection, but it, you, many people do complain with the liquid form that it's going to be a little bit harder to get absorbed into your skin, and it's going to tend to be a little bit heavier. Okay, and how is mineral sunscreen better for the environment than chemical sunscreen? Okay, so you're probably referring to what has been in the news quite a bit lately, and that is how the belief that some chemical sunscreens are contributing to coral bleaching. And the main sunscreens that are at play there are oxybenzone and octanoxate. There have been many uh, municipalities such as the state of Hawaii, parts of Florida, and some other countries that have banned the sale of those two chemical sunscreens because they are believed to contribute to coral bleaching. So really when people are looking at a sunscreen that's safe for the environment, they're going to want to use titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. It is good to be aware of that. My last question is, what are the key benefits of mineral sunscreen? So the key benefits to mineral sunscreen, we really like to look at both from a human perspective and an environmental perspective. We already discussed earlier about how titanium dioxide and zinc oxide is not going to contribute to coral bleaching, so really great for the oceans and is reef friendly. And from a human perspective, studies are showing that chemical sunscreens can get into your bloodstream, whereas a physical sunscreen is going to sit on top of your skin, reflect the sun's rays, and not get into your bloodstream. Okay, well, I learned a lot in this interview. Thank you so much for answering my questions. Certainly, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to watch other videos, click here. If you'd like to subscribe, click here. And if you have any comments, please comment below.